Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new round of Dragon Fable PvP. So, we're currently going uh, at a streak of 8, which is still going strong, so now we're gonna try to mess it all up. So, this time we're gonna be starting off as our Frostmoglin, and let's get started. Let's do this. So, first match. We are starting off against Matthew. Who is running his usual uh, hide behind build, just as it is. As for us, we are running the mainly the Frostmoglin armor, which also means that our all resist is pre pretty far down now. But we should be fine nonetheless, so let's try to figure out what we can do about against this guy. Low immobility, which means. But we'll have our shield earlier, so. We should start over with Ornament Shatter, I figure. Bam! Awesome! Got our little buddy Cheshire Twilly, such as it is. Kind of forget what this is uh, all about because uh, I haven't used those skills in a while. So let's try to figure out what's the deal with this. Hmm. Okay, very accurate. Mm hmm. So I think it's the spirit of giving. Yep, that's the one. Lots of damage on this one. Owie! Huh, gotta go into stun, is he? Well, I can do that too! Candy Crane Kick! Let's throw him a little Fruit Crate Cake Brick. And that's the end of him. Next one! Okay, up against Dart Stan! He's running, actually, a base uh, warrior class, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's the case. High mobility, so stun isn't an option. I can do a blind, though. Hee <laughs> hee. Aha, mega blind. Owie. That was nice. Oh well. So, ornament shatter. Not dealing nearly as much damage on this dude. And Spirit of Giving. Owie! So let's put up our rate. And call all their little uh, gingerbread men. Gingerbread Invasion. Wee! <laughs> That little uh, last guy is so adorable. Okay, that is done. Huh, what would be a good idea? A spirit of giving, of course. Since it's empowering us. Owie! How did he get so many crits? That's insane! Anywho. Oh... I kind of want to use a Rune Blast here. Since I figured this class wouldn't do that much damage, I figured having the Rune Stone equipped would help me out somewhat. Ow! And let's throw that brick. Not nearly enough, though. Shame that. Oh, where are the downed potions, are we? Good for me. Whee! Next one. Oh, that is mighty strange. We're up against Torin, who looks like a dragon rogue. Yep, dragon rogue, alright. Using that uh, dragon from last Thanksgiving, if I'm not mistaken. So, oh yeah, that's one I wanted to check. Yeah, high strength on this one. Should have guessed. Oh well. So, Shatter Ornament. Going into stealth, which means a dot. And another dot for um, the shadow dragon, apparently. Oh well, spirit of giving. Owie! Gonna need some help from our gingerbread men. 
Uh, there they are. Hmm, not that many toxins so far. Room stone. Pop the rate. Mm -hmm. uh, go with blind. And pop a brick. Mistletoe, I suppose. Why not? Eh, missed. Lame. At least he's back on potions. Spirit of giving. And he's done. We're pretty low at the moment, but we should be fine since we've still got uh, two potions to use, at least as far as health goes. So this guy, I'm gonna have my shield anyway, so I can go ahead and just take my potion. And bam. Let's take our ornament shatter. Okay, it's gonna go into stun. He doesn't have any mobile to resist, or at least not a lot of it. So can the crane kick is a viable solution. And go with the Spirit of Giving. Not a lot of damage, but it doesn't matter. And let's send our Gingerbread Men. Room Blast. Awesome. Hey, watch those potions. So damage or something else? Since he's on potion, let's do a blind. After that, we'll take a mana potion. Owie! Great! And let's finish him with warmth, why not? Whee! Okay, so next one. So! For this last fight, we've actually had uh, Emmanuel Oviedo in the comments actually asking us to take on his character for the fifth fight of our next round, which we're gonna do right now. So let's do this. Alright, so we are up here against Mortel, who is running that uh, Twilly... Uh, uh, it's Palachili, that's right. And he is actually an, a cryptic with a number of interesting weapons. Then his character actually didn't look quite like that, but they actually fixed the color custom problem that we had uh, in the character page. So I'm a little surprised. <laughs> okay, so he has okay 25 in mobility resist, all resist 44, which is extremely high. But is also usually what you should be running. I'm just a little lazy because I don't want to do all of the in at the edge of time things. He also has a lot of health, so that should be rather difficult. Still, we've got uh, our... Uh, how is it? Uh, 
our shield from our Chimera, which should allow us at least to get a turn home free. Oh, Pella Chili is wiping the floor with us. <laughs> Howie, that wasn't nice. Our shield is down, so we can go with Kenny Crane Kick, but didn't work probably because of all that all resist. Howie, so now isn't as good time as any to send our little gingerbread man. Now I have a choice to make, either go with Reet or Potion. I'll try to trust in the Reet. And I'll probably regret it. Yep. Time for regrets. Well, that's okay. We are taking a significant amount of damage. Uh, so turn by four. Are we gonna last that long? Not so sure, but it's probably our best chance. Uh oh. <laughs> Good. Lucky for us. So that is done. Could go for a blind, but we'll have to damage him at some point. Once those cooldowns are down, the cryptic isn't nearly as deadly as it usually is. It's still dangerous though. So blind. One of the things that scares me right now is that this class actually has a stun and I have no idea this far back uh, how long it's gonna take for it to pop in. So let's hope our candy crane kick will be sufficient. Yes, it did. Awesome. That has bought us three turn, which should be sufficient for our gingerbread men to kick in. So shatter. Uh, no, it won't be sufficient for them to kick in, but we'll be close. Second turn. Hmm. The brick is probably my best uh, choice right now. So let's see. Need to last two turns, let's hope the read will be sufficient. With that bonus to critical, I don't see that happening. Hmm. Let's try gift. Somehow it might actually end up... Uh, oh, it decreases his damage. That's perfect. So if he does the big one, well... Ah. Close, but not nearly enough. Oh well, Streak is dead, people. So, for that next round, we're going to be going as a Master Soul Weaver. Let's do this. 
You're starting off against Raven, who is a Riftwalker. Let's have a look at what we're up against. Okay, so lots of immobility resist as usual. So, how are we going to deal with that? Hmm. Soul Sync is helpful, so is Burst. Hmm. Suppose we can start with Soul Sync. Took some measure of damage, but not that big a deal. Uh, so it was Soul Burst. Then improved damage, if I'm not mistaken. And a bit of mana burn. That's okay. So, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot the stun doesn't work against this guy. Oh, but it did. Unless it's something else that popped at the same time. Guess I got lucky, huh? But really, I'm starting to think that the idea was actually to reduce his damage from the start using the seal, seal move, if I'm not mistaken. And now, we can finish him off with Soul Sync. Awesome. Next one. Up against CJ, who is an Ascendant. So, you can go ahead and use Seal. Some damage, but not that big a deal. So, Sync. How's the mobility resist? Fairly high, not worth it. Burst. Hmm, lucky. Pierce. And go with impact. With that really all I need is an annihilate to hit, so soul banish. And that's the end of that. Next one. Up against Roy, who is another master soul weaver. How about that? So let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Lots of immobility resist, as is usually the case. That's actually the thing I disagree the most about Verlyra's different design for stats. That's so annoying. Anyhow, so Soul Sync. Seal. Burst. Owie. Pierce. Great. Pop Soul Sink. That's the end of that. You could probably pop this earlier because it seems to be doing a ton of damage, way more than I give it credit credit for. Wab against Kite, who has the base necromancer stuff, which means that he has no proper weapon. Yeah, it happens. So let's just get going, I suppose. Soul sink. Burst. Uh, 
Oh. Yeah, he has higher resistance to ice, so it's a good idea to actually switch weapon right now. So, let's go with Pierce. Pop a mana potion. Pop a health potion. Oh, life tap, is it? Well, soul sink. And the last one. Up against Renal, who is a Riftwalker, with the usual, pretty much. So let's switch back to pick up the Nort. And. Soul Seal. Soul Sink. First, and it failed. Too bad. And we could go with reckoning. Why not? Finish up with Soul Sink. Bam. Back to a streak of one. And to finish up here, we're going to be going as a Doom Knight using the ever lovely Doom, gu Doom Guitar. So let's do this. Up against Deadborn, who is also a Doom Knight but a version 1 1. How about that? How's his mobility resist? Fairly high, huh? Oh well. Gonna have to make do with what we have. So let's go ahead and use Corrupt. Strange that the Baby Chimera actually doesn't give him a boost. Must be because of the way it's actually set up, so... Eh. So let's use... Why not? Lingering Doom. And use Weakening Blow. Dead. Up against Isoka, who strangely seemed to have bug because of the Doom Guitar. <laughs> oh well, that's neat. We actually get to see uh, what it looks like using the male version, so that's sweet. Ah, uh, immobility isn't that high, although the Allerises might actually affect this. But then again, do I even care whether I can stun him or not? He's version 2. I kinda care. Nope. So let's go ahead and use Corrupt. Oh, that's right, I can use Will to actually reduce their resistance to stun. I always forget about that. Oh well. So let's go ahead and use Weakening Blow. Owie! Doom Blast. Life carve, and he's done. Next, up against RKC, who has the same problem as the previous one. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. A level two Doom Knight, which means that we could this could actually be trouble. 
So, start with barrier, I suppose. Okay, that is done. Let's use Drain Wheel. Doom Spikes. Corruption. Lingering Doom. And we're gonna run out of mana pretty quickly. Life Carve. Sweet. Next one. Up against another Doom Knight, this time a version 1. So let's use our Mana Potion. Corrupt. Drain Will. Doom Spikes. That'll be plenty. You'll notice that the animation kind of breaks when he does uh, that move where the Doom Knight flies. It actually shows the pauldrons again. Must have been uh, kind of programmed into the animation itself. And done. Last one. Wanna bet it's a Doom Knight? Oh no, it's not. It's Agutar, who is a Death Knight using all of the, the, the Death Knight equipment, it seems like. High mobility resist. Other than that, not a whole lot to say. Green Will. Uh, lingering Doom. And that's the end of that. Streak of two people. And I'm afraid that's gonna be it for the time being. So thank you for watching everyone. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And that was the Great Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye.